Hi guys, I hope you all are doing well and welcome to my channel. In this particular video, I will be discussing what is public folder and public folder mailbox. I will be discussing the public folder architecture, how public folder mailbox hierarchy is designed, how public folder hierarchy is synchronized, and how email applications connect to public folder mailboxes. Public folders are designed for shared access. Public folders let users to organize and share information with other users within the organization. Public folder content can include emails, posts, documents, and forms. Users can access public folders from Outlook client and from OWA as well. As for the permissions assigned to the users, they can browse and add the public folders within their Outlook client or OWA. Public folders can be added as a member of a distribution group. All emails which are sent to distribution group will be forwarded to public folders and later those emails can be reviewed. Now let's understand how public folders are designed. What is public folders hierarchy? Public folders hierarchy is the logical structure in which the permissions and the properties of public folders are arranged. Before we create a public folder, we need to create a public folder mailbox. Public folder mailboxes are of two types, primary hierarchy mailbox and secondary hierarchy mailbox. The primary hierarchy mailbox is the writable copy of the public folder hierarchy. And the secondary hierarchy mailbox contains public folder contents and the read-only copy of the public folder hierarchy. The public folder hierarchy is copied from primary hierarchy mailbox to all other public folder mailboxes, but these will be read-only copies. Only the primary public folder mailbox stores a writable copy of the public folders hierarchy. This hierarchy is synchronized across all the public folder mailboxes. These public folder mailboxes must be frequently synchronized so that the end users can get up to date view of public folders hierarchy. For example, if an administrator creates a public folder in Exchange Admin Center, these public folders should be updated within end users email applications. The public folder hierarchy synchronization uses incremental change synchronization or ICS. It provides a mechanism to monitor and synchronize the changes that are made to public folder hierarchy or public folder contents. The public folder hierarchy synchronization is divided into categories, pull mode and push mode. In pull mode, hierarchy replication is driven by secondary hierarchy mailboxes. At a regular interval, the secondary public folder mailboxes connects to the primary public folder mailboxes so that they can pull the changes that are done within the hierarchy. For example, if a new public folder is created or a folder is created within the public folder, the secondary mailbox will connect to the primary hierarchy mailbox and will pull all these changes. This process is accomplished with the help of service host process and the MRS proxy service that are running on the server hosting public folder mailboxes. There are some defined intervals when this synchronization occurs. If user is connected to the public folder content mailbox, the synchronization or the replication occurs every 15 minutes. If user is not connected to the public folder, then this replication will occur every 24 hours. And if any change is made within public folders, for example, a new public folder is created. In that case, synchronization occurs immediately. So if an administrator will create a public folder within Exchange Admin Center or with the help of PowerShell, that replication will be done immediately and the users will be able to see the public folders within their email applications. However, there are some limitations with pull mode. Secondary mailboxes had no way to know if there had been a change within hierarchy. Secondary mailboxes would keep connecting to the primary mailboxes at defined intervals, even if there was no change within the hierarchy. 
if there are multiple secondary mailboxes, it would require more sync jobs, which needs more connections to the primary mailbox that can result to delay in processing time. To address these issues, the push mode was introduced. In push mode, hierarchy synchronization is derived by primary mailbox. In this model, primary mailbox proactively notifies all the secondary mailboxes whenever there is a change within the hierarchy. In push mode, secondary mailboxes do not have to contact primary mailbox to pull the changes. The primary public folder mailbox who is containing the hierarchy of the public folders will automatically notify all the secondary public folder mailboxes. Now let's understand how Outlook and OWA connect to public folder mailboxes. When a user opens Outlook application, Outlook client contacts auto discover service to determine the connection settings for the user mailbox. Auto discover service calls a function get public folder recipient to retrieve information about the public folder mailboxes. During the auto discover response, client will check public folder information element. I will show you practically how we can check public folder information. This element contains the SMTP address of the public folder mailbox. But in case of OWA or Outlook on the web, this process doesn't rely on auto discover. OWA uses similar functionality that the get hyphen mailbox command uses to get list of available public folder mailboxes. So even if auto discover service is not working, users can still connect to public folders using OWA, but they will not be able to connect to public folders using Outlook client because Outlook client relies on auto discover service to fetch or to connect with public folder mailboxes. In the next video, I will be showing you how we can create public folder mailboxes and public folders within Exchange Admin Center. And then I will be showing you how you can access these public folders from Outlook client. So if you have learned something new from this particular video, please write in comments and please subscribe to the channel. Thank you guys. Thank you for your time. Take care.